Hi everybody, my name is Becca and I am a co-author for the Dissociative Living blog on HealthyPlace.com. So I wrote a blog post about whether or not it's possible to heal from DID if you don't have um, all of your memories or um, you don't have any memories at all. And I found this topic very intriguing because it really applies to me. I've been in recovery or therapy for 20 years with a diagnosis of DID and I have never ever had one memory, one cognitive memory of the trauma that I endured as a child. And so that made me start wondering, how am I ever going to heal from DID? How am I going to move past what my headmates have gone through if I don't ever remember what they've gone through? So that gave me the idea to write this blog post. And in speaking with my therapist, we talked about whether or not I even needed to remember what happened to me. He did say that, and we've argued about it because I can't have DID if I don't if I don't remember anything that's happened to me. How are you? How can you be sure that that is the correct di diagnosis? However, he has said that that my headmates have come out and have given him certain details, some more more in detail than others. In our discussion, we talked about remembering every detail or remembering any details is not what's important. If it were, then if, if, if having flashbacks and all those memories just flooding to you and you were able to recall everything that ever happened to you, one, that probably would just re-traumatize you, and two, how does that help you move forward? How does that help you heal? So it's more about the emotions that are behind the memories. And I gave a very simple explanation of how our brains store memories. But it's far more complicated than what I mentioned. But what I wanted to focus on was emotional memory. That is what's the most important. And once I realized that, I started making more of an effort to communicate with my insiders, with my headmates. They are the ones that hold your memories. They are the ones that hold the emotions. So for example, I might have feelings of terror and having panic and not know where those are coming from. Those are emotional memories and I don't have anything that's attached to them. I don't have a cognitive memory that I can pinpoint and say this is why I'm feeling terror. But it doesn't mean that I can't access that headmate that is holding those emotions for me and communicate with that headmate and say, how are you feeling? Why are you feeling so troubled? Why are you feeling this terror and this panic? They're going to be more available to you and accessible so that you can talk with them. So yes, you can heal from DID without having those cognitive memories or those flashbacks coming at you. If you don't have anything like I do, you can still heal. Once you establish that communication, processing those emotions and healing from them will be so much easier. I'm Becca with Healthy Place. Thank you for watching.